Welcome! Working with a significant amount of data means that from time to time, you need to be able to look for something specific promptly. That's when the function search in Excel comes handy. Let's have a look together at how to search in an Excel sheet in a simple and easy way. Hello and welcome to EasyClick Academy. My name's Frank and together with the EasyClick team, we're here to make sure you'll be able to use Excel in a quick and easy way, thanks to our digestible video tutorials. If you want to search for specific data in Excel, go to the ribbon, which is the top bar right over here, and look for Find and Select. Click on it and select Find. A window will pop up where you can search for data using quite a lot of options that are available. So, let's go through them one by one, now. The easiest way to search in Excel is to type a specific text or number you're looking for into the field that says, find what. For example, we're going to search for Lucy. Let's click on find all and Excel will list all occurrences of Lucy within the data table. You can conveniently click through specific cells which contain the searched text. And we're going to take a look a bit further. To do an advanced search, there are more options available in Excel. And we're going to go through them together now. You can see these options if you click on the button Options. And you can search based on specific formatting. Choose whether you want to search within the sheet or the whole workbook. Choose whether to search either by rows, which is set in the field by default, or by columns. Or you can also set whether you want to search only in formulas, values, notes, or comments. So, let's say we want to find where within the sheet is the function SUM. We'll click into the field Find What, type in SUM, and choose to look in formulas. Then we'll click on Find Next and Excel will immediately find the next cell where the function SUM is located. If we click on Find All, we'll see all cells that contain this function listed below. Quite handy, right? But let's carry on. Select the option Match Case only if you want to make the search case sensitive. This basically means that it matters whether the text you type into the field will be written in lowercase or uppercase letters. Let's say we want to find Lucy, but we type the name all in lowercase. If you've selected Match Case, there will be exactly zero results, because our Lucy is spelt with the capital L in the table. If we untick the box, Excel will not differentiate between the lower and upper case, and it will find all cells that contain the text Lucy with the capital L, even though we typed it all in lower case. Then there's the option Match Entire Cell Contents, which you should select if you want to search for the cells that contain just and only those characters that you type into the Find What field. This is quite helpful if you want to look for, let's say, the number 60. If we don't select the box, Match Entire Cell Contents, Excel will find all cells where the number 60 is present at least partially. In our case, this means that one of the results will be the cell containing the value 3860. However, if we tick the box, we'll see the cells containing only the value 60 among the results. Here, in our table, it's just one cell. And finally, here's a little time-saving trick. You don't have to click through all the buttons to get to the search window. You can also use the shortcut Control and F. This will start the search function straight away, and you can immediately start looking for the data you need to find, just as you saw in this video tutorial. If you found this tutorial helpful, give us a like and watch another video tutorial by EasyClick Academy. Learn how to use Excel in a quick and easy way. Is this your first time on EasyClick? We'll be more than happy to welcome you in our online community. Hit that subscribe button and join the EasyClickers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.